Ahoy, this is David Eugene Perry on truly sacred ground. This is the Orvieto War Cemetery. And as you can see, over 150 men, soldiers, sailors, airmen, paid the ultimate price. Actually, because of their ultimate sacrifice, Orvieto was saved. In June of 1944, Orvieto was occupied by the Germans and the Allies, mainly the British, were working their way up. There had been a huge battle, of course, in which the monastery of Monte Cassino was destroyed. There were fears that Rome would be bombed. Rome was declared an open city. And Orvieto also, through the efforts of a bishop, a priest in Orvieto, and the German commandant, it also was saved. The German didn't speak Italian. The cleric didn't speak German, but they both spoke Latin and they communicated and they decided that when the British came to Orvieto, they would try to save it. So the German officer went down, he met with the British officer and they decided to declare Orvieto open and agreed to move the battle, still fight it, many kilometers away. And the result, well, here in the cemetery, which is impeccably maintained, paid for by Great Britain. Actually, you can just hear in the background the local person, the local farmer who takes care of these graves. The story of how Orvieto was saved is told in part and backdrop to my novel, Upon This Rock, but also local playwright David Zarco did an incredible, incredible play detailing the salvation of the city. And Erica Bazzari talks about it in her book, Orvieto, as it is and was. Reporting from the cemetery, this is David Eugene Perry.